Hi, welcome to my short term steam injection tutorial. Today I'm going to be using Menopo and Bucerello. Okay. I always start with a cup of tea and a biscuit or a piece of cake or a chocolate or something because you know what? You're steaming. So you're awesome and you deserve a treat. It's only fair. Okay. So I start with getting all of my pieces out that I'm going to need. This is my alcohol swab. I take lids off, clean tops, what I'm going to use. And I also make sure that I just wipe my stomach with it where I'm going to be injecting. Okay. Once that's done, I proceed to get everything out. I'm going to need a thin needle, a thin syringe, put the booster well in, and one of the fat ones here, the larger one for that. Okay. I get all my needles out. I just find everything easier to just take it all out and have it all ready. keep that to one side okay so starting with the Bucerelli and if you haven't used this before it's a little bit tricky to get out of the bottle by that I mean the quicker you try to take it out the slower it comes out and you just end up with a fight with air bubbles so the best thing to do is just pop it in upside down draw back on the needle slowly and allow it to drip down into the syringe just a drop at a time You'll see it's slowly coming out. There's a lot of air going in there as well, because it does take a while to fill. So what I end up doing is drawing more than I need into the syringe, flicking the air bubbles to the top, and then pushing it back into the bottle to the required dose. And that makes it a lot easier. So I keep drawing that out until I've got quite a lot in there and then push it up to where I want that to be okay just make sure that there's no air bubbles in there you can just flick like that if you see any you can always pull more into the syringe like that and then push it back up that's not a problem to get it to where it needs to be and make sure you haven't got those annoying air bubbles because you're injecting it into your skin it won't be the end of the world if you do get a little air bubble. It's not like you're going into a vein or anything, so don't worry too much, okay? So just find somewhere that's not too sore, because as days go by, your skin gets more and more sore and you sort of run out of places. Try and pop it in at a 45 degree angle, okay? And then just squeeze that in slowly. It may sting a little bit, but doesn't last long. Okay. So when that's done, we pop the lid back on the needle and pop these in my sharp spin. So that's the booster melon done. Okay. Next we've got the menopore. Make sure the little water thing, make sure the water drops down into the bottom by flicking it. Okay. There's a blue spot on the front of there. Have it towards yourself and crack the top off. You don't have to use one of these little plastic things to do that with. You can do it just with your fingers if you want. You start with the fat needle that you're not going to use to inject into your body. Pop that on. Okay, so that's like a beast. That's just for drawing the liquid up. So I draw the liquid up, all of it, the saline into the syringe like that and then it goes into this bottle here where the tablet is that's all of it down into there okay and then we draw it back up using the same needle so that's all of it okay Make sure there's no air bubbles getting to the top. 
like that. Okay, and then we're going to swap the needle over to put a thin one on so that you can inject it. Get rid of that one. Pop your thin needle on, like so. Just push up until the liquid appears at the top so you know that the air's all out. And then again, just find somewhere that's not too sore to inject. 45 degree angle. And in once again. This is a little bit stingy, the menopause. Different ones sting more than others, but I put it in slowly. I find it easier to put it in slowly. It maybe makes no difference. Okay. And there we have it. All done and dusted in just like a few minutes and then you can have your cup of tea and your piece of cake or your biscuit or your chocolate and let yourself know that you're fantastic because you're doing absolutely everything you can to make your baby you deserve a huge pat on the back we love you well done